Okay, I wanted to share something very quickly with you. I'm out here walking, hiking. This is where I spend my time meditating, praying, spending alone time thinking, and hearing messages from God in a sense. And this word came to me, John 12, 24. You know, it says, unless a grain of wheat falls in the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. You know, right now, things as they look like. We're going through adversity. And in every adversity, something in us dies. So maybe for you, this season will make your hearts cold because by staying home, you found that, you know, others have betrayed you and you found some characters that you can't stand. And somebody probably has ripped your heart into pieces. Your grand dreams for 2020 most likely are looking like they're not going to be achievable. Most of us look have those dreams. With this lockdown and a looming recession, things just don't look very good. And your ability to dream is beginning to dwindle. Your energies to fight back are kind of dead and you're depleted. You don't know how you're going to make it out of this. You know, I have a friend who just told me that, you know, I cannot afford my next 10 years to go wrong because I don't have the energies to recover. Maybe you feel that way because you just emerged from a long winter season in your personal or professional life. You feel that you have no fights remaining in you because something you kill your resolve to fight back. Here's the good news. Something new should be born in this adversity. You talk to any farmer, they'll tell you about planting the seed. And this is a planting season for many farmers. When they put that seed in the ground, it loses its life for a little while, while it's transitioning to become a plant. So this is a transition time. But remember, the scripture says you have to put the grain in the floor, in the ground, and it has to die to bear much fruit. So you will bear much fruit, but you need to plant something. So when you feel like you can't start over, do something. Do the opposite. When you feel that you can't trust, you need to plant trust. Do something, trust in an another way, trust in a smarter way. This isn't the time to get closed. Trust in the perfect goodness of life to reward you. If you don't have money to give, give your time, give your knowledge, give your wisdom. This is planting season. This is a time to multiply. This is not time to pull back. You're going to bear much fruit, but if you're only willing to put that seed on the ground, even when you don't see any rains yet, something new must be born in this adversity, and it's all up to you you it's in your hands so i'm staying open for change and i'm telling god use me i'm open for business let your will be done and i hope the same for you in this season i'm really wishing you a very beautiful easter don't forget to put that seed on the ground i'll talk to you again soon